This is the first uh, video on logic and proofs. Uh, in this series of videos, I'm going to introduce some concepts of logic, not only from mathematical logic, but also from computer science and computer language logic, and even some philosophy uh, sometimes. And but the, the logic, the concepts I'm going to introduce here will be tools for mathematical proofs. Okay, so I'm going to introduce um, a first definition. We introduce the concept of proposition. So what is a proposition? A proposition is a sentence that is either true or false. So, so the proposition has exactly one truth value. It will be true, which we denote by capital T, or false, which we denote by F. Okay, so we have two values for the preposition for the proposition true or false okay let us see some examples now for instance if i say the square root of 2 is an irrational number okay i'm going to write irrational this way okay so the real numbers without the rational numbers are the irrational numbers, okay? So square root of 2 is an irrational number. Uh, here I wrote under the math symbols, so I, I use symbols, but at the end of the day this is a proposition. I'm saying something here, right? When I write this in math and with math symbols, I'm saying something. And what I'm saying is the, the square root of 2 is an irrational number. Of course, the, the math language allows us to do to, to move faster because we have these tools, the symbols. Okay. Okay, another proposition. Let us say 1 plus 1 equals 5. This is another proposition. So, another proposition. The elephant will become uh, extinct on the planet Earth by the year of 2200. This is a third example of a proposition. Looking at these three propositions, um, I think you don't have to be very clever to know that square root of 2 is an irrational number. So this proposition is obviously true, right? And what about 1 plus 1 equal 5? Well. It's quite obvious that this proposition is false, right? Okay. Now, what about the third one? The elephant will become extinct on the planet Earth by the year 2200. Well, this one either will be true or false. But we have to wait for the year 2200 to give an answer. Uh, we are pretty sure that either it will be true or false, but for the time being, uh, we have no answer for this. Now we have a different case. What about this sentence? Julius Caesar had two eggs for breakfast on his 10th birthday. Uh, is this a proposition? Well, yes. This is a proposition, uh, but this statement 
does not have a truth value but is still a proposition so no truth value but still a proposition now I I wrote here a fifth example for instance um, this sentence this question at the end of the day what what did you say this sentence this is not a proposition so there is this huge difference between Julius Caesar had two eggs for breakfast on his 10th birthday where this one is a proposition but do not have a truth table and you have this question here what did you say this one is not a proposition at all uh, other uh, examples would be x squared equal 36 this is a sentence but this is not a proposition too now the seventh example this sentence is false this is not a proposition too and this one um, is very close to a very famous problem in logic but I'm not going to get into that now so the, f the, the fifth example is not a proposition because what did you say this question has um, it's a sentence and it has not a truth value right I cannot say this is true or this is false okay okay what about um, the sixth example? x squared equals 36. Although I did not put here x to some value or whatever. Okay, uh, this is very important because usually the high school students they are used to solve this sort of equations without knowing what value x can take, and this is very important. So x squared equal 30, uh, 36 um, this cannot be true or false because we don't know where x is okay so this is very important you don't know if this is true or not I give you an example here if you say x squared equals 36 and x in x is a, a natural number x is a, a natural number but then you have you have x equals minus 6 and x equals 6 okay so 6 is a natural number you have one solution here right but this solution is not here okay if you say x squared equals 36 where x is an integer then you take both values both values are values are solutions okay now if you say x squared equals 36 for x bigger or equal to 100 you have no solutions here okay so you should not solve any equation without knowing the set where x can take values okay okay uh, usually the high school student is used to know that x is a real number okay but that is not always the case okay now so I'm leaving these sentences false for the next video.